Currently the MCU and every other Marvel project is delving into the concept of the multiverse, which leads many to question. If it was Loki, Miles Morales, or Doctor Strange, who broke it in the first place? Since the MCU's multiverse saga had began, the blurring of franchises has become more common. Because now variant of previous Marvel projects like Inhumans, X-Men, and all three live-action Spider-Man are now part of MCU. The Marvel multiverse has almost made every Marvel property in history, somewhat canon to the MCU. So let's see who kills the multiverse. When we are concerning about the question of who broke the multiverse, Loki and Sylvie's role is more akin to creating the multiverse. Loki established that the multiverse has always existed, but the TVA was placed in order to protect its reality. The last Loki episode features He Who Remains, a more benevolent version of Kong the Conqueror, who established the TVA as a way to stop multiverses from colliding. Whenever anyone from across the multiverse strayed from the path of the sacred timeline, potentially crossing over with another timeline and colliding universes together, the TVA would step in, prune the branching timeline and restore order. However the finale saw Sylvie kill He Who Remains, as revenge for her own timeline being pruned. As a result the TVA's operation collapsed, and allowed the crossing over of timelines to begin. After the death of He Who Remains, the multiverse began infinitely expanding from all points in time almost instantaneously, meaning it was almost as if the multiverse had existed since the beginning of time. So we can say Loki but more accurately Sylvie was responsible for this, meaning the show did not depict a crack in the multiverse but more an origin story for the concept. The next project which directly involved the multiverse was No Way Home, which was even referenced in a Across the Spider-Verse Easter Egg. The film saw Doctor Strange aiding Spider-Man with a spell that would cause everyone to forget Peter Parker's identity as the Web Slinger. While the spell had been done before, the events of Loki meant that the spell now transcended multiple universes, and Peter's meddling with Strange's spell made it possible, so that every person from across the multiverse that knew Peter Parker's secret identity was pulled to the MCU. Naturally this created problems for the fabric of reality, which have huge ramifications for Peter. In this scene the multiverse would have shattered, if Strange's final spell would not work, in which everyone forgot this version of Peter Parker existed. Without the TVA to fix the issues that Spider-Man and Doctor Strange created, the multiverse began infecting the MCU. This was somewhat fixed, meaning Doctor Strange and Spider-Man were not responsible for breaking the multiverse only causing some catastrophic problems that leaked into Multiverse of Madness. Interestingly though, Across the Spider-Verse directly tied Miles' origin to the multiverse. The Spider Society in the film run by Miguel O'Hara Spider-Man 2099 acts almost as its own TVA, but only for Spider-Man-specific events across the multiverse. The Spider Society is responsible for protecting the universes from anomalies, that could destroy the universes in question that include Spider-Man, or a variant of him. When Miles attempts to join the Spider Society, he is told that he is an anomaly himself. The radioactive spider that bit Miles during Into the Spider-Verse, was revealed as being from a different universe. This meant that the universe from which the spider came Earth-42, did not have a Spider-Man and devolved into chaos. Miles' origin meant that Peter Parker of his universe died, and with Miles' entire existence means, he is an anomaly in almost every universe and this caused big problems in Across the Spider-Verse. In Across the Spider-Verse Miles interferes with canon events that happen to every Spider-Man in every universe, and failing to accept this as a reality. While it is unclear exactly how Miles' actions will interfere with the multiverse, However his status as an anomaly means he is partly responsible for the fragile state of the multiverse that began with Loki in No Way Home. Similarly Miles' existence as Spider-Man created the spot, whose quest for power could threaten the entire multiverse itself. So we can say neither Loki, Doctor Strange, nor Miles are responsible for specifically breaking the multiverse, they all have directly contributed to its volatile state in the wider Marvel Universe. But that's according to me, 
What about your thoughts please tell me in comments. And if you like this video please like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you guys for watching, see you soon.